So a lot of haters always say, oh, you got to be there. You got to have your lace in the sun just because that gives it away or whatever. But baby, what lace? What lace? I'm going to need for you to tell me what lace. If you find it, you need to take Swiper's job because at this point, Swiper didn't swipe the lace. I can't find it. Swiper, no swipey. <laughs> and girl, if you don't got you some HD lace, some invisible lace, then you're at the back of the line and we're in the front. You're losing, baby girl. You're losing. You're losing. And that's on period. Periodism. Periodically. Periodic table. Period. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be reviewing superb wigs again on my channel. As you guys could see from the intro, the hair was bomb. So I already know you guys want to get into this. I already got know you guys want to know the tea on this hair. So I'm going to be reviewing this in depth for you guys. So this intro, I usually put up videos with me just doing the hair styling it putting it on my head but for this video guys I'm gonna be doing a way in-depth video so I'm only gonna be applying the, the hair for about four minutes so I really wanted to show you guys how the hair kept up throughout five days five to six days of wearing it so in the package they gave me these lace these sample lace to show me the difference between Swiss lace transparent lace and a regular brown lace so as you guys can see the swiss lace really blended in with my skin so this hd swiss lace is what i'm going to be reviewing today and guys this hd lace is literally so bomb you guys will see throughout the video i mean i don't want to give away too much but guys i really love this wig so you guys can just watch as i quickly apply this wig it's not really going to be focused on the application but on how it holds up for five to six days a lot of people ask me how do you keep your wigs um how do you maintain it does it curl um like different questions about my wig so I, I feel like this video could answer a lot of questions that you guys probably have so going forward with all the wigs that I'm reviewing I'm gonna try and do in-depth reviews like this if you guys want me to do an in-depth review on a wig that I have reviewed in the past if I still have it guys <laughs> then I could do that like if you guys want to see Wiggins um, hair video in depth if you guys want to see um, Victoria's lace wig anything um, if you guys ask me and I still have the wig I'll do that in-depth review for you guys so just let me know um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll stop talking now so you guys could just focus on how beautiful and how bomb this wig really looks. actually scratch that my hair really looks because guess what I'm now scalped rooted and planted in success this is now my hair Alright, so it's now hooked, and this is how the wig is looking. So, throughout the day, no, it doesn't look too bad. You know, throughout the day, um, I'll like straighten it or do whatever I need to do. Oh, girl, it doesn't look too bad at all. What? Girl, you're looking beautiful. You're looking slayed. You're looking blessed. Okay. Dang. Ate that. I ate that. But, um, I'm really loving how this wig is looking. Not too bad. 
Yeah guys, this is HD lace, as I said before. It's kind of hard for you to find the lace. It's because it's HD lace. This is HD lace is what like celebrities are wearing, you know, when they got that full lock, that braided wig, and you're like, what? I thought it was real. Oh my god. Baby, it's HD lace. Nobody's wearing that dark brown Swiss lace, and that's what I'm trying to get y'all companies to know. Okay. <laughs> It's like not. All right, I'll see y'all later. Okay, all jokes aside, guys, um, I didn't straighten this hair or anything. Right now, I'm just like doing this quick little video in my car on my phone. I did not bring my camera, but I just wanted to show you guys how the wig looks in my car in the sun. Did not straighten it. This is like after me putting it on. Yes, it's my hair. Yeah, 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 it's my hair. Oh, um. Yeah, I know my hair was short last week, but we got this oil. It's called growth. Um, anyways, me to my managers when they see me, like, I be walking in with short hair, long hair, medium hair, blonde hair, black hair, red hair, not red, like, high color brown, and they be like, oh, yeah, this one's mine, boo. Yeah, you thought, you thought later in the night um i'm gonna be going to work tomorrow so i'm gonna take a shower get ready for bed all that good stuff um literally today i didn't even wear any makeup i'm like low-key proud of myself <laughs> but um i mean i don't wear makeup every day so i don't know why i'm proud of myself but i just wanted to show you guys how i get my hair ready for bed so it will last me so a lot of people ask me how I maintain my wig so in this series I want to show you guys how I do that you know I take my toothbrush make sure everything since if you guys have baby hairs you do the same thing just make sure your baby hairs are laid when you're doing this so I literally brush everything back make sure it's neat so you guys can see everything is still laid still slayed feeling great if there's any little parts lifting, because honestly, sometimes the edges lift because when you think about it, if you wear makeup, if you wash your face like I do, I wash my face, do a whole routine. Sometimes water can kind of get on there. And it's not the fault of like you laying it down wrong. It's really about doing your daily activities, you know, all that good stuff. So if there's any tiny parts lifting, you could put a little bit of glue there um, in the nights while you're preparing for the next day. So just lay this part down. Just make sure everything is, if you want a side part, middle part, all that is done while you're there in the night. So then after I do that, I make sure it's all behind my ears because I'm going to be basically covering up my ears. Um, I'm going to get my silk scarf. So I fold it in half because it's too wide. Like imagine two of these, like no. So I fold it in half and I put it, right there on the lace right in front of it so it's covering the whole thing and i put it over this part over it you don't want to put it behind it's gonna i'm gonna go take a shower and i don't want it to like mess up my lace and i don't mind having mine tightened I, i'd rather loosen it in the night than to just have it loose don't make it too loose guys like no you're not serious if you're making it loose Make it snug, and then I tie it. Make sure everything is flat. Make sure when you tie it, it's kind of on the lace so that it like holds it down. And then I just tie it and that's it. Now, after this, what I do is I get something like, you could do a bonnet. If you guys have a bonnet, you could do a bonnet, but I like doing using this type of do-rag because it's long enough to like hold the hair in there and what this helps me with is like if i have any curls in my hair or if like it's straight like y'all saw i straightened my hair when i applied it and i didn't put any more heat to it and it's pretty much still straight it's because i literally didn't put a hair tie in it i just let it hang in this thing and i think this thing is like satin it just like keeps whatever curl or straightening is in there so this is like extra protection especially when I'm showering if you have a satin pillowcase and you don't have this you're good just make sure your hair is not all over the place okay and I make sure the hair is in there that's how it looks in the back and then I just lay this flat 
on my hair and then tie it down in the back and guys this is pretty much it this is how I keep my wigs late at night and when I'm showering now if you're extra cautious and you're going and your showers are really hot and long you might want to put a shower cap over this or another bonnet over this you know it really is up to you but I normally just take my showers like this I don't use any added anything cuz it's pretty secured under there and like if this is too long I sometimes I like hold it up and put a bonnet over it so I have this bonnet it's really tight though I don't like wearing it but since it's long I don't want it to get wet Look at that three layers of protection there is just no way water is getting in this no way and I'll show you guys how my lace looks in the morning when I arise out of the depths <sighs> anyways bye guys I'll see y'all in the morning So guys, if you've ever had to wake up early for work, school, or anything, you guys know the feeling I have right now, y'all. I couldn't even speak throughout this part of the video, so I had to come and do a quick voiceover and explain why, because I was so angry, but not at you guys. I was just angry at the fact that I had to wake up so early, but y'all, this is how the wig is looking this morning. If y'all can relate to this struggle, comment down below, okay? <laughs> y'all, I'm at work right now, hair still laid, tired. When I tell y'all I'm tired, it's literally an understatement. And what's crazy is I still have a sore throat, but I have been taking medication and it's not working. So at this point, square, square up, square up. I'm done. I'm done. And with like all the viruses and everything going around, I'm like, I'm so scared. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. y'all today was a rough day when i say rough i mean i'm tired i'm exhausted right now like i'm literally contemplating everything so guys as i said earlier i'm not sure if you guys remember yes so i will be going somewhere right now your girl is drinking red bull for the first time so you know it's serious Stay in school, guys. Anyways, update. Wig is still laid. Actually, hair is still laid because it's mine. But one thing I did realize today. <clears throat> first downfall. The back part of the wig. Guys, I don't know if you can see. I'm running my fingers through it and it's not going through. It's stuck. What's happening? What's happening? what all right one thing i gotta say so usually the back part of every wig gets tangled the easiest because you know it's right here by your neck you're moving you put it on your jacket taking it off you know all that good stuff so that happens on a regular it's not a surprise nothing new but what i realized is that this wig gets tangled in the back easier than some of my other wigs um so i just wanted to point that out since we're doing a week review on this hair still bomb i just wanted to point out little things that i realized so yes the nape of the wig does get tangled i am about to be looking fierce in three two one
Okay guys, quick final look. This is the hair. It it curled a little. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really curl it that much. But this is still late. I did put too much makeup on the lace. I hate putting makeup on my lace, but this is how I'm looking right now. Hair has a little body in it. My outfit, oversized sweater, and long boots. <laughs> yeah. Guys, wait, hold on. Let me wipe my nose. Guys, so I just went to a birthday party and um, I was dancing and everything. I expected to sweat my wig off like when I did the um, best wig glue video. But guys, like baby girl, look at baby girl, look at baby girl. Now, it was hot because remember it's a birthday party celebration and the people were very popular but guys it was so hot in there and i expected to walk out with my wig looking a mess you know but guys i'm so surprised right now like i don't know if it's the wig if it's like the amount of glue i use which is the same but it doesn't look too bad it's not giving me away at all like wow i'm i'm highly impressed but I think also because it's HD lace, so it doesn't look too bad. I did put too much makeup on the lace though, guys, which is something I don't normally do. But, guys, I just wanted to show you how it looks. The hair is still holding up. One thing I was so upset about, guys, uh, the building was really packed. So every time someone hit me, like, my hair would, like, hang on to their clothes or their jewelry or something and rip out. I was so mad. The hair is already thin. Like, what are you doing, boo? But guys, I love how natural this hair looks. It looks like it's just my hair because it's not too thick. It just looks like pretty natural. Loving it, loving it. I'm so surprised that it's still on there, but let's see how long it will last. Hey guys, good morning. So I work on Saturdays, so the way I look right now, I've been looking for since like 7 a.m. or whatever of course the lace is lifting and as i said i used my makeup got all over my lace guys but for the good part it's like really on there like wow guys my glue is literally tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday it's five days and i told you guys i would review this for five days but the glue is still on there This is going to be a struggle. I already know it to, to, to remove it. Guys, so I just took a shower. Smelling fresh, smelling clean, you feel me? So, right now, I'm just going to remove my headscarf. And, as I said, I really don't, didn't need to do this. But, as you can see, it's pretty laid. Like, what? Girl, did you just go get your hair done? No, I didn't. You lying. What? What? Come at the yama? Buenos noches? What you said? Oh, that you only been well? Okay. Of course it is. That was mad easy. So this is how it's looking right now in the center. It's not finessed or anything. I just really just wanted to change the part. And I'm just surprised at how easy that was. As y'all, y'all saw that, right? I'm, I didn't make that up. Okay, boom. This is baby. Mm-hmm. 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 Guys, I'm, I don't think y'all understand the magnitude of this situation. Like, you don't understand the magnitude of this situation. Because if you understood the magnitude of the situation, you would be excited too. You're, you're gonna wake up soon. Keep acting like you don't see what's going on. First of all, I said... I sweated. I've been wearing this wig for going on, no, five days. And I put hella makeup on it and it was looking cakey. And look at the wig. I don't think you guys understand the magnitude of the situation. Mm -mm. Let me try and do like a sleek pony. Ooh. Guys, my natural hair just snapped. 
I am doing a sleek ponytail on my natural hair. Look how look how nicely this lays. I feel like this this hair, as I keep saying, this reminds me of really just natural vibes. Like your hair but better. Look how look how sleek this is. Normally when I do sleek ponytails in my wigs, they look good, but this is flat, like what? This looks like my hair. Alright, so guys, pretty much I've been wearing this wig for seven days. Actually, six to seven days now. I actually went past the five day thing. Really lifting right now. This is embarrassing, but I just worked out at home and as you guys can see, it's not looking too good. But one thing I must say, guys, this is day number six almost day number seven and the wig held on this long I'm so surprised I'm actually impressed right here still looks good though okay guys I know my hair looks a mess right now but I really want to give you guys some pros and cons for this wig that I'm wearing since as I'm basically at the end of this wig series or whatever or this review so really quickly hg lace bomb i feel like this blends in so well with your skin no makeup it's hd lace i, I mean like what more could you ask for um, another thing this is practically full lace i mean the middle part has a little bit of a gray mesh under it but it's practically full lace if you wanted to glue the back part down you could so that's another pro that i like Another pro that I do like about this wig is that because it is technically full lace, you can part it all the way back. So I guess you could consider this like a 13 by 6 partial full lace or 360. So that's nice. Um, another thing I personally like, and a lot of people would not like this, but one thing I like is the fact that the density was not too much because one thing is natural hair is not as thick, like especially my hair. So this kind of mimics my natural density whenever I put extensions in because my natural density is like 110 but anyways this hair kind of mimics my natural hair density it's not too thick and it's not that thin you know so I really like that lengthwise you could change the length whenever you want to so that's something you could fix I'm pretty sure that you could fix the density and the length and the size of the cap so that's really good another thing i really like about this wig is that the knots bleached really nicely so a lot of the wigs i have the knots are really hard to bleach you have to like leave it on there for like 50 minutes and another thing is the the wig the hair can start falling out and then you're bald you got a baldy for a wig so i like the fact that the late the knots bleach really well as i was putting it on i was realizing that not a lot of the knots were showing and i was like so impressed one other thing I really like about this wig is that the hairline wasn't too thick. Now, as you guys can see right here, I didn't really pluck this wig a lot, but the hairline was pretty much you could have worn it out of a package. That's how I got mine. So I like the hairline. It wasn't too thick at all. Nice. Guys, another thing that's really big, shedding. So this wig, I've been wearing it for six days straight. And I've been brushing it, doing everything I had to do, and I'm not even gonna lie, there was no shedding. I didn't experience any shedding. So, but then again, I treat my wigs like babies. A lot of people like to manhandle. Come here, girl, come here. <laughs> no, we don't do that in these parts, okay? My wig is like my natural hair. I take care of her, I treat, uh, this is me brushing my, my, my hair. First of all, I hold it like this and I start from the ends. I make sure that I treat it with care. If there's a tangle, I detangle it with my fingers and then I brush just so that I can prevent shedding. Um, also, a lot of people don't know this, but if you over bleach your knots, you're automatically going to have more shedding than the average person because you basically are damaging the, the knots and like loosening it. So it's going to shed regardless. And um, one thing that I didn't like, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but the nape of the neck, I feel like it got tangled a 
too easy like it was really easy but I did realize that today I wore my hair in a ponytail and there wasn't much tangling in the back but the back part of this wig does tangle quite easily so you might want to be mindful of that and I don't think that's a big issue because like pretty much that's something you could just detangle at the end of the night and just be mindful of not to be careless with that because honestly that's a big issue for most of my wigs I'm not gonna lie to you guys there's only one wig that I have that doesn't tangle at the nape and it's because it's like completely silky straight like it's not even this texture it, I don't know what texture it is but it's completely silky straight so it barely even tangles I don't know where that wig is from and so all my other wig does tangle at the nape so that's not something I'm upset about because I know how to like deal with that um what other pros do I have I mean cons Guys, besides the nape, I can't even think of another con I have. This wig is pretty bomb. Like, I love this wig. Actually, Superb Wigs, I really like that company. Um, they seem pretty nice, pretty legit. I've emailed them a, co a couple times and they respond. They're really nice. So that's my experience with them. So I really like this. I actually reviewed curly hair from them. If you guys want an update on that, let me know down below in the description box below i can give you guys an update on how the curly hair turned out now that i have a straight hair and a curly hair i can kind of compare them to just so you guys can know which one's better if it's just because it's curly or whatever another thing also before i forget the hair curling it a lot of people are like oh can you curl it or whatever when you put water in this hair i mean regular body wave hair or straight hair it has a tiny bit of a wave to it when it's wet this is how this hair reacts also it's not completely like super wavy as in like curls like that but it's pretty wavy like straight you know like when you wet straight body wave hair i mean ugh. you know when you wet straight hair versus body wave hair you know like body wave hair is not like really wavy but straight hair has a looser wave to it kind of like almost not there but it really is there that's how this wig is it's not completely curly or wavy when it's wet but it's not completely bone straight either so that's pretty nice it's i mean it gives you that kind of like uh, out of the water easy breezy beautiful cover call <laughs> it's like no let me stop so I'm so happy that you guys took the time out to watch this video. I really do hope you guys like this in-depth review. I do hope you guys feel the same way I do about this wig also because guys, it's fire, it's fair, it's giving me all types of life. I am now a new woman, I'm born again. <laughs> but guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, share it with a friend, give me a big thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, remember to stalk me on my social medias, okay? I do not bite. <laughs> but guys, if you want to check out this hair also, link is in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, peace, love, and <laughs> let's stay melted, okay? Bye.